facing a tough team in Denver. What allowed you guys to be so successful tonight? Yeah. Um, I thought we the second half we did a really good job. I don't haven't actually seen anything, but we didn't foul them as much as the first half, I think. In the second half? In the second half, I thought we didn't do that as much. Mm -hmm. So it kind of allowed us to... We, we had some really good stops and then just pick up the pace that way. I think that's how we kind of picked up the pace in general. First half, we were kind of like lagging behind, let them play the game. Um, but executing the game plan was pretty good. For the most part, they didn't get too many back cuts, not as many as they normally do, which was really good from the guards and then also the help zone. So, it's so you had a pretty big game yourself, 19 points, 17 rebounds, and then four steals. What yeah. part of your game were you think you're most proud of tonight? Um, I don't know. Just happy we got the win, to be honest. Um, yeah. Sometimes these games happen, you know? So it's good stuff. It's good for you guys that way. Steven, you guys have uh, had more luck on the road than at home, and maybe particularly against quite good teams. Is there what did you say, sorry, bro? We're having you've, better luck on the road. You've, you've been better on the road. You've wanted a higher clip on the road. Okay. Yep. And I'm just wondering if tonight's win has any added value because it came at home against a team like that. Yeah, I, I, sure. <laughs> oh, mate. I mean, I see, you know, win's a win, mate. All right. Kind of equal, but I, I, I do think it is harder to win on the road um, than it is at home. But weird stat. Yeah. But either way, mate, wins a win. Steven, how did you feel like you and Nerlens defended Jokic tonight? One on one, we could have done a lot better. I felt like we just kind of let him kind of get to his spots. You know, really good player, make it. Um, I mean, we're still contesting, but obviously he's a good player. We could have made it a bit more difficult. What was good, though, is that he was going one on one. Does that make sense? Like, that's, that's the really good thing. Um, we wanted him to go one-on-one -on -one more to kind of take away these cuts and whatnot, which was great. Um, but it is one of those things. We want that, but then we also want to make it a lot more difficult for him. Mm. That makes sense. So we could have did a really, well, obviously, always room for improvement, but could have did a much better job one-on-one-wise. You guys, you and Jokic talked a little bit after, after the game. Like, I know it's probably a tough matchup, but are, do you enjoy going up against him? Yeah, uh, 100%. Like, it's, it's always good to... Um, play against really good players like that, especially like the main go-to guys. Because it is, it is just one of those challenges. Because it ain't, it ain't just about stopping him necessarily. It's like their whole team, like this team in general, they move really well together, they execute really well, and they defend really well. Like it's a really good team. So I think generally every player here just gets excited to go up against a really good team like that because it just challenges you. You know what I mean? So, as competitors, I think it's quite nice. Puts a bit of lead in the pencil. Stephen, what did you think about the way that Shea was able to start the fourth quarter for you all? Start the what? Uh, the way that Shea was able to start the fourth quarter for you all. I can't recall it, to be honest, mate. I was too much in the... Just didn't know who was scoring. I just, like, we executed play well, we score, cool, get a stop large. I really don't remember, to be honest. But he did well. <laughs> I was asking you. No, no, did he? I mean, you're watching it. Like, oh, it's weird kind of in the game because you're kind of thinking about a lot of different things. You know, it's so much like, ah, oh, he's going good. Like, you know what I mean? You're more just like, oh, I've got purpose here and I have to do it. So, did he do well? Yeah. I mean, he set you up a couple of times, too. Yeah, yeah Golden Horses. Yeah. <laughs> Great job there. Yeah. Steven, when you're playing the, with the closing lineup with the three point guards, how, does, how do you see the game change when those three guys play? Um, Pace is good, but it also it's obviously tough for their defense. There's a lot of a lot of players that kind of get, uh, able on outside that are able to just touch paint, and it is just one of those things. The body language of a player touching the paint, you kind of like you know, you kind of get a bit of a reaction out of the defense, which is good. Um, what's also good is that like you know most teams they play a bit differently. You know, you know what I mean? The last two minutes of the game, like they. Other teams also go to like, say they go to plays, they'll end up being a pick and roll. Some smoke screen and then end up in some sort of, you know, we do the same. So I think teams change a little bit, um, every team, to be honest. So, kind of works out well, I think. The more the more you can kind of, you know where, you, where they're attacking from, kind of helps out uh, defensively, to be honest. Yeah.